Come on out, Ecology Club members. The Ecology Club has been in existence probably about 14 years out of the 15 years that I've been here. And we're quite active. That other sweet potato here, and then maybe another one here. We talk about um, the need for a certain plant for an, a, an organism to survive. Um, we talk about the cycles because we've got, got eggs, we've got a, our larva, caterpillar, and then we've got this chrysalis, and then they're waiting patiently for it to emerge. And every day it's, it's an adventure and a discovery because there's so much that we see. We had a butterfly bush in my house off the side of my deck and we actually had to cut it down when we built our deck and I missed it so much and I loved looking at all the butterflies and I was like, wow, well, we have a decreased population in our area and I thought, oh, well, I can fix that. So I developed this idea and Miss Denise supported me 100%. This is um, uh, attracts bees and if you rub this, I bet you you can tell me what that smells like. I don't know, maybe I'm not smelling it right. Um, it smells like minty. Well, it is in the mint family, but it's licorice. Oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> Today, we didn't see any monarchs because I think it's a little early, but we did see swallowtail caterpillars. That was the big one. The um, swallowtail butterfly likes to eat dill, and that's one of its um, favorite foods to eat. I thought all butterflies liked um, milkweed. So we have all these different butterflies and, and their, their larvae, but they're not eating the same things. So they're not competing for the food and they can live harmoniously like we should be doing. Inside there is a very smart caterpillar. It has actually made a cocoon out of the leaves. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember and oh, inside, if you gently open one of them, maybe you can open up this one. Just real gently, Maggie. You will see I was thinking a little that. black caterpillar, and I believe it's a painted lady. The garden has been brought great joy to PB Smith, and when we first um, were charged with coming up with a mission statement for our school and our students, um, one part of it is that each student is environmentally conscious. And so through Ecology Club and the use of our gardens and our outreach of Mrs. Denis in from kindergarten, preschool, through fifth grade, students become conscious of how butterflies and how the garden um, help our environment. So our hope is that it will continue and our love for the environment and what is happening here at PB Smith we hope to see go to every school at Fauquier County. Oh, okay.